At UCL in electronic electrical engineering, we have two programs. We have a BEng program, which is three years long, and an MEng program, which is four years long. Both of these programs are accredited by the IAT, so they lead towards becoming a chartered engineer. Okay, so what, what happens when you're here? Our first year program is quite interesting in that we start off with an integrated program across the entire engineering faculty. What that means for you is that you have a little bit of specialist stuff in electronic electrical engineering, and then you actually do an interdisciplinary project, in fact, two of these projects in the first term, which is going to involve people from other parts of engineering. So you might be working with a mechanical engineering team to develop a robot, for example, to solve some problem. Then we go on in the second part of that term to actually do more specific engineering courses. And as part of becoming an electrical engineer at UCL, we actually give you all a toolbox like this when you arrive. Um, what does this toolbox actually have in it? Well, it's got various things. So one of the courses that we teach you is digital circuits. And we actually make use of a small board like this. This has a microcontroller in it, which allows you to write simple programs to do various things, so maybe control temperature or measure temperature. So say, for example, you're on a team designing a bioreactor. You might need to keep the temperature of that bioreactor at the same temperature so that the organism, yeast, whatever it is, can grow at the right rate. And so we might use this to monitor temperature, then control the heater. Um, also within this, we're going to have things that allow you to do some of the laboratory work and some of the learning that you need to do actually in the comfort of your own home or in your student hall or wherever you are. So this is a kit that you get when you arrive, and you actually keep it for your entire time that you're at UCL. And in fact, when you leave, you can, you can take it with you. Um, and it allows you to sort of actually explore engineering and some of the electronic engineering by yourself, as well as supporting our course material. Other things that we have then, when there you have traditional lectures, a bit like me talking at you now, um, we actually have a very strong tutorial system in the department as well. So we're five or six students in the first year, spend two hours a week sitting in an office with an academic, and we go through some of the problems and issues that you might be having with courses or labs. The other thing that's really interesting that we do at UCL is we run week-long scenarios. So these are focused engineering design projects. You do nothing else, no lectures, no labs that you'd normally be doing during the course of the week. And you'll set a problem at the end, start of the week, and then you work in a small team to try and solve the problem. An example of that problem might be, for example, designing a digital scale system for making espressos. It turns out to make a good espresso, flow rate, amount of coffee is very important, but unfortunately, of course, the espresso making environment is steamy, it's hot, it's wet, and so you need a device that is able to display this information to the barrister who's making the espresso, but also can withstand the environment that we're interested in. So that's in our first and second years, or a bit like that, and then also in the second year, you can take on a minor. This allows you to say, if you're interested in robotics, Mechanical engineering is quite an important part of that, as well as the electrical engineering. And so you could do a minor in mechanical engineering, for example, to get those skills that you need. Equally well, you might be interested in the business aspects. And so we have minors in the business aspects of those programs as well, to go along with the core engineering stuff. If you're doing the MEng program, then in your fourth year, you can specialize, or third and fourth year, you can specialize. And you choose to do this, what specialism you want to do at the end of your second year. We currently offer specialisms in communications, in computer science, so electrical engineering with computer science, and in nanotechnology. So that's that study of the really small things that make up these devices. In addition to that, we have an international program, if you're on the MEng, which allows you to spend your third year abroad. The nice thing about electronic electrical engineering is because it is sort of, it's mathematical, it deals with systems, complex systems, how you put them together, it actually leads into a lot of jobs. So we get people doing sort of what you'd think was traditional electronic and electrical engineering, so maybe designing motor drive circuits at Siemens, for example. We have students working there, have, or working for the London Underground, designing their signaling and communication system um, so that you can control trains or traffic lights or whatever it happens to be. Right the way through to people working in banks, for example. Some of them are doing things like developing hardware and software for ultra-high-speed trading systems, Others are looking at sort of as technology analysts. So we go all the way through from sort of traditional, more engineering, right the way through to sort of city jobs work, working in banks. Um, so quite a range of things where that kind of those numerate, how do you analyze systems, how do you solve problems sort of skills are required. So 
If any of that interests you and you're thinking you want to do electronic electrical engineering at UCL, then feel free to either drop a line to the, um, if we have an admissions email, which you'll see, which we link to off this video, um, or, and definitely go and have a look at our webpage and find out what about, and you'll find all the links and various things from there. So, thanks for watching.